you're looking at 171 pounds. It's Ryan Abrahami, a senior for McGuanago, and Danny Schnicka, Jr. for Arrowhead. Abrahamian in the WI Wrestling Online at preseason rankings, ranked sixth at 152 pounds. This match brought to you by the McGuanago Wrestling Club. I want to thank them for their continued support of Indian wrestling here on BadgerStateWrestling.com. McGuanago Grizzly Open, K through eighth grade tournament, folk style, on Sunday, February 13th. Abrahamian a year ago, 47 and 5. Trip down to the Cole Center. Goals to be a state champion. Also plays rugby. Schnick battling hard in this opening minute, trying to suck up a single leg and to be tough underneath. Has to find a way to get his head up and out. Abrahamian spins around and McGuanago up 2 0. McGuanago Wrestling Club. Simple goals to introduce your child to the great sport of wrestling. Want your child to have a fun and positive experience. McGuanago Wrestling Club emphasizing fundamentals including basic skills, drills, and techniques. Abrahamian, a Classic 8 Conference champion a year ago, began wrestling as a fourth grader. Final 10 seconds in this opening period here at 171. Schnick hit with stalling, hasn't done a whole lot on the bottom. When your head is down and your hips are down, that stalling call is just moments away. First period sees its conclusion. A takedown from Abrahamian up 2-0 to the second period. Abrahamian a year ago, Ed Steck champion. Won a couple of conference titles, as I mentioned last year. His second, third at Mid-States last year. DeForest Norski invite champion. Runner-up at the Battle on the Bay in Bayport. And Abrahamian gets the reversal and some back points. Four point flurry. And he's now up 6-0, that on the Vance Hunt of Green Bay scoreboard. At 152 at the state tournament last year, Abrahamian beat Ryan Wisher of Port Washington, 1-0, then lost to eventual state champion Kyle Crane of Hudson, 17-8. On the backside, third period pin of Bill Langford of Westosha Central, before falling to Briar Harper of DeForest, 12 to three. So good experience down at the Coast Center for Abrahamian. And this season wants to stand atop the podium. Three nothing on the team scoreboard. Anderson with a decision for Arrowhead at 160. Thirty-five seconds, second period. Abrahamian with a tight butcher, trying to score some near fall points inside of 25 seconds. Schnick does a nice job there to pop his hips, but they go back down to the mat, and here comes the count for the near fall. Now settling in is Abrahamian, trying to give the Indians a sixth spot here at 171. Inside of 10 seconds. And he is saved by the horn. Abrahamian tacks on three near fall points to close the second. And in command, 9 nothing to the third. Choice goes to Schnick. He'll take a look at longtime head coach John Messenbrink. And selects to start third period on bottom. In its history, McGuanago has won five state 
championships by three different wrestlers. Their first, Nathan Shaneborn at 145 pounds back in 1997. Then it was Chad Leviner in 2006 at 103 pounds, his first of two. Billy Schlocky, a state champion in 2007 at 152. That same year, Leviner captured his second at 112 pounds. And in 2008, Billy Schlocky, his second state title at 152. Ten zero. Minute 15 remaining. And now Abrahamian will give the escape to make it 10 to 1. And of course, McGuanigo right now thinking a tech fall or a pin. Trying to suck up a single leg once again is Schnick. Keeps his hips down, and Abrahamia now going to try to work an inside cradle, burying his head in the side. Trying to bring Danny Schnick's head it to his knee. Applying a lot of pressure. Abrahamian will give another escape. Diving in back on the leg is Schnick, trying to survive. Now they tack on two more. One escape awarded. A takedown. McGuanigo up 4-3 on the Van Zandt of Green Bay team scoreboard. This is BanderStateWrestling.com where it's nothing but wrestling. <laughs> 